welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. The best versus the best. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Shakur Stevenson has recently come out and stated that he could move up to 135 pounds sooner than expected. He states, tell them boys to get ready. His exact statement is, it all depends on the weight cut at the end of the day. I didn't did amazing things at 130 pounds already. My last two fights, to be specific, I didn't put on shows. I didn't did a lot at the weight. So if I struggle with the weight cut and it'd be hard on me, I think I'm going up to 135. Tell them boys, get ready. And that's not all he said. He also went on the state. I ain't going to say no names, but I want the top guys. I don't want to sit back and cherry pick or be fighting none of those fighters that's not at the top level, period. And so, you know, this is why I like Shakur Stevenson so much. This is why he's one of the top guys in boxing for me. The guy is really special. He's always free smoke, and he's a hell of a boxer. He's a hell of a fighter, and he's literally improving fight by fight by fight. Now, when he says, I'm not going to say no names, but I want the top guys I don't want to sit back and cherry pick. That tells you he must be talking about one guy, and that's Devin the Dream Haney. Because Devin Haney is undisputed at 135 pounds. He's going to rematch Cambosis, and that should be easy work like it was the first fight. So at the end of the day, when you look at it, Shakur Stevenson versus Devin Haney makes all the sense in the world, especially if Shakur ends up moving up quicker than expected. Both of these guys are with ESPN top rank. This is an easy fight to make. There's no reason we should not see this fight. None. Don't let this fight slip between your fingers like so many other big massive fights i mean we we didn't get the anthony joshua versus deontay wilder and we've been asking for that for years we didn't get it and we did not get it and you know when you look at it you see crawford versus spence that fight is a very difficult fight to make that still hasn't been announced so we got two top fighters Two top fighters, back-to-back -back divisions on the same network. There's no reason why this fight can't happen. Both of these guys are always saying they're willing to fight anybody. Both of these guys are always saying they're free smoke. And both of these guys are literally the best versus the best in their respective divisions. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.